Damn, look at that machine. That's an amazing machine right there. Wow. So cute. Oh. <laughs> Very nice. Clean. So we're getting ready to start this car. Uh, Dadka Dalton was cleaning this battery tray area. There's still some rust and there's a hole right there. So we're gonna have to put some probably fiberglass cloth in there and we're gonna preserve all this. But as of right now, we're almost ready to start this car actually. We're about to put fuel in and uh, this is the jumper wire for the fuel pumps i'm going to be using that i have to open up the distributor really quick just to make sure that you know all the junk uh is not going through those you know to those uh, injectors and all that if anything yeah I'm just putting stuff back together slowly uh there's still a bunch of work left to do but we just mainly want to get it running right now so that's the main thing then uh, later on, it's gonna it's gonna be more stuff to do. I'm gonna clean these contacts a little bit here. All right, so we cleaned this uh, this chipper cap, but it's pretty bad actually. So we're gonna, you know, it's gonna get replaced in the future. But for now, just to get it running and all that, yeah, I'm gonna reinstall it. Yeah, but yeah, I was able to source this one out, and it's gonna go. This is the plastic part, and this is the aluminum one. We're gonna actually paint all the cooling parts with high heat paint. We got new water pump, thermostat, and all the, those parts. All the hoses is gonna be really nice, but yeah, definitely want to replace this plastic one with the aluminum one. So yeah, there's there's that part. Right, so so far so good, no leaks. Sweet. All right, so here's why we're not gonna change the engine oil just yet. The engine oil is still fine, still a little bit above minimum, so it's okay. But there's a previous owner said that there's a uh, leak coming from somewhere. So that's why, you know, I don't want to change the oil just yet. But we got the fresh oil in the trans. Uh, and now um, this is the fuel line that comes from the fuel pumps. So we're going to activate that uh, fuel pump using the jumper wire. And then we're going to connect it. And then I want to open these four lines to make sure that, you know, there's no gunk in there. Pull these out. <clears throat> Make sure everything is out of the way. Boom. So we have this rag in here now. We need to find where that uh, oil filler cap went. So yeah, we need to kind of put it like this for now yeah. on top. Yep. So we're about to connect this battery. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen, but. Good idea to have a fire extinguisher ready. <laughs> All right, so we're about to apply power to this amazing machine after what, 10 years, more than 10 years probably? Right, 15. Yeah, man. At least 12. Let's see what happens. Oh. Oh. That's a turn oh, signal. Little... Yeah, it's that, that switch that doesn't uh, cancel. Is the key in? He should be uh, yeah, keys are hanging. Hang on. Hang on. Dang. Oh, it's hazard. Oh, is it? Yeah. No, really? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Awesome. I was like, it shouldn't uh light up the left turn signal with the key off. Yeah. Alright, cool. So no, it was the hazards. I figured that's what we're was. gonna do now. Well, I'm going to connect this, but we're going to basically crank the engine over so we can get all that oil out of there. All right. A couple times. And then after that, we'll see. We're going to start putting the plugs in and all that. So, yeah. Um, get things out of the way. Let's make sure. 
crank it. All right, that's good. Wow. It's almost like she's arcing here, but that's okay. That's fine. That should be enough, I think, to uh, get that thing, you know, like put the plugs in and all that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and do that then. It's a good first start. Yeah, I like that buzzer. Sheesh. Amazing. Is that radio playing? Wow. No, it's me. Oh, that's you. I was like, what? <laughs> uh, nice what do you say what do you want to look at the line which line not yet because i'm i'm gonna activate it myself yeah oh, with the pull. with the key on yeah i'll show you later but first let's let's just connect the rest of the stuff yeah we got new plugs they're gonna go right in all right remember if you put oil in the stones you first have to crank the engine with the plugs out to prevent hydro locking and then now we're gonna we're gonna put new plugs in and we have brand new spark plug wires as well very nice so we usually like to put anti-seize on the threads but we forgot it so we're gonna pull it out again at some point and put anti-seize on those threads of the spark plugs but now yeah we get new ones we got brand new spark plug wires. Oh yeah, Very these cool. are extra. These are extra. These oh, silver extra. ones. Yeah, that, that's Ooh. not for this car. But these two right here, or the these two. Yeah, that's not for this car. There's a way, but these right here, brand new, import direct. So hopefully they last super long time. Paid good money for it. And a new coil wire. Yep, and that wire goes from the ignition coil to the distributor cap. Gonna pull this out. And Zetska Dalton will take care of the rest of them. I'm gonna work on this one. Actually. Uh, it's nice. This car is literally a virgin like this. Let's go. What? The dielectric grease. Dielectric grease? Uh, I have to look for it actually. Uh, is it in the bag? It, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, there you go. There it is. Sweet. Like I saw it. <laughs> yeah. So you can't miss it. Man, after all these years, she is cranking. What an amazing car. Just a little bit of dielectric grease, just like that. Very cool. Connect contact seven and eight. You got it. It looks clean now, huh? Yep. All right, cool. That's it for now. So now we can connect that line. 17 millimeter. What's up, Al? A couple scratches here and there. <laughs> but then he moved to Montana a couple years ago. And the yeah, it's true. That's the only reason I'm, I'd be sticking with it. Because I don't feel like fucking changing everything out. Yay. Hey. That's a good sign, man. Really good sign. Because when it's running, when the pumps are running, the lines are off. There should be no fuel in here. Only when you push the airflow plate. Yeah. 
mechanical fuel injection. His, his dad had a Fiat, like an old, the 59. All right, Jessica, let's try to prime it. Yeah, see if that fuel pump really is working. Yes. You win. Mm -hmm. It's trying. Definitely was trying. Clear. Clear. Okay. Clear. Clear. Hey, you got pressure, oil pressure? Oh, stop, 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 stop. Yeah, we definitely need an oil filler uh, cap for this thing because it's spraying everywhere. Okay. Did you see that oil pressure gauge? Yeah, it went right up. Nice. Man, they used to make amazing cars. Can't stop saying that. Okay. Oh. So. Pretty quiet motor. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, I just had to give it a little bit extra fuel at first and then I kept holding it, but we're gonna retry again if anything, you know. Uh I mean I guess it was sitting for a while, you know. Mm -hmm. So it should have this much play usually. Yeah, you see how it has that play? Yeah. Yeah, so it should have it. If it okay. if it doesn't have that if it's too much play, it's gonna be too rich. If it's too little play, it's gonna be too lean, so it's not gonna run. Okay. So that's why you have this right here to adjust it, but this one has never mm. been messed with because okay. it's got this blockage thing in it. Uh. And once you take that off, underneath is a three millimeter Allen key that you put, put in, you can adjust counterclockwise or clockwise, basically. Okay. Yeah, to uh, adjust the, the mixture. What's the spec on that as far as? Uh, it's usually like, this is actually pretty Oops, fine, sorry, I would say. Man. This is pretty fine. It's usually okay. like a one millimeter or something, I would say. Okay, well, that's closer to like two or three. Yeah, so, but that, that's Well, it depends on whether it's measured out here or in here. Again, too. there's there's lots of aspects to that because, you know, okay. like, you got to see, like, your fuel injectors could be not spraying well. You could be okay. other things you know the car was sitting you know so but it's a good sign it started up you know yeah great sign man it's plenty of taking that to get all the varnish out of that yeah no leaks sorry Ruben ready yep holy cow man that's fine First try though, it started. Ah, okay, interesting. Starts and then kind of stalls, but she starts up. Like I said, this could be, this is the uh, micro switch for the diesel fuel when you like mm -hmm. driving and then you let off the gas. Yeah. So that's what this does. Um, All right. Cool. Just a little bit of fuel when you start. Just a little bit, yeah. Don't let it die, basically. Oil pressure good? That's good, that's good. Wow, dude. That's awesome. What's the RPMs right now? Okay. Uh huh. It's trying to die a little bit. Uh 
Uh, let off of the gas now. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely a little bit, uh, probably lean or something, because you see you press this down a little bit and it stays running. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure the pump is okay. You know, it should be pumping all the pressure, you know, it's, it's operational pump. Yeah. Could be just the injectors aren't doing yeah. as well as they should be, you know? Yeah. But again, could be that oil filler cap too, you know, I mean, I'm pressing on it, but it, maybe it's not, it's still producing some vacuum leak or something, you know? What an amazing car. Yeah, we'll need to adjust that. So if I if you're holding like this, what's the RPMs? Uh, about oh. 950 I think. What's the RPMs now? Uh, Some it could have a little misfire too. Yeah. Hey, but it's alive. Yep. Can I shut it down? Yeah, keep an eye on the temp, you know. It's trying to run, though. Yeah. But again, it could be that the, the, maybe the cap itself is bad, you know, too. Yeah. Between the cap, I shut it off. Yeah. Uh, and it's, I'm thinking between these injectors probably having a bunch of varnish in them. Yeah. And the cap being shitty. That's 99% of the problem. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why it's got this, like, maybe... Uh, I got to look up the factory why it's, like, kind of over say, that thing is or something. Fucking, yeah. It's either retarded too far. Yeah. Because I don't know what the rotation is on it. Yeah. Um, but I'll get that adjusted up. Yeah. Man, she's running. She That's runs. good. <laughs> Everything is good in the back. No fuel leaks. And, uh, dude, it's... Yeah, no leaks, no No. It's amazing. Wow. <laughs> I'm so happy, man. Shit. <laughs> Saved another machine. So my uncle Dalton is going to be uh, finishing up with this car. He's going to keep taking care of it. So I actually got a good use switch from the junkyard on it uh, for it. So he will probably replace that. Uh, and then actually we got this switch unstuck, believe it or not. Maybe because the wheel was turned slightly different, but... We got it unstuck, so it's all working now and fine. Uh, still a lot of work left to do. He's finishing up painting the battery tray. Yeah, man, I'm so happy this thing is alive. I can't, can't believe this. It's crazy. Yeah, we got a, he's gonna replace the steering components. I got them there too. It's, there's a bunch of work that will be done to this car. Everything in the back is good. No fuel leaks. Sweet. This is how nasty the fuel was in that uh, supply line, actually. There you go. Yeah. And there's the 190 uh -huh. right there, you know, getting love slowly but surely. Yeah. My amazing Dutchka Uncle Dalton is going to keep taking care <laughs> of this amazing machine, you know. And yeah, we'll we're going to get her right, you know, yeah. slowly but surely. She's an amazing car. Wow. They kind of look good things. together. You know, they kind of look really good together, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, like totally different cars, totally different oh, yeah. era, you know. And I don't know, it's kind of cool, you know, seeing together, like those two cars together. It's funny. It's so lovely. Yeah, man, I, I bet you this thing is so much fun. So what's your next project on this Zetska? I'm going to rebuild gonna... the motor. Oh, okay. So you're yeah. going gonna... like, to pull gonna... the whole thing? Well, or? i got to fix like, the radiator underneath here. Yeah, and then pull I pull all this that. stuff out, the radiator uh, yeah. support got busted in transit oh, so it, it's yeah. whatever they're easy to find yeah, yeah. but i'm gonna fix that mm -hmm. um and i'm gonna drive the piss out of it probably for a <laughs> yeah. month or two yeah yeah and then i'm gonna pull the motor and rebuild it over the winter 
Oh, yeah, that's because fun. Because these cars sure. don't sell in the winter. No one wants them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to make it to where it's good to go and ready for yep. summer. Yep. And that's off she fun. goes. That's fun. Damn, the size of that brake booster is a lot bigger than on that car. I know, right? Well, you want to know why? Uh-huh. I mean, you definitely need, yeah. It's a rotary. They don't produce much vacuum. Right. At all. That's, that's cool. You know what's funny? It's only two rotors, mm. but this thing drinks as much as a six-cylinder. Really? Well, yeah, what's the economy The rotors on? have... Uh -huh. They're trash. Yeah. The rotors have three faces on them. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So it has three combustion chambers per rotor. Uh, yeah, so it's basically great. the equivalent of a small six-cylinder mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that... That's how much fuel it eats. That's funny. That's funny. Yeah. Yeah. I, that, yeah, I mean, they are. Yeah, definitely. You get in them and they, they get <laughs> trash for mileage. Yeah. But if you can keep your... Zatska. Zatska. Oh, na zdrowie. All right, guys, so as you know that me and my friend, my uncle Dalton, we saved this amazing machine from the junkyard and we actually got it running. So that's amazing. That's really great news. And I'm super happy about that. It hasn't run for 10 years. It's basically back to life. It just needs quite a bit of work and I have a lot of parts for it waiting. And my, you know, Dalton, he is a mechanic as well. So he's gonna take care of that car. He's gonna finish it up and slowly but surely he's, he's gonna bring that car back to life. But, uh, you know, I had to leave and I had, I'm actually in Washington right now. So uh, anything else that's left on that car, my friend Dalton is going to take care of that. And, you know, I'll be sending you updates as we go, as, you know, he can. He's also, he's also a busy person, but he's, you know, he loves cars and he's going to find time for that car as well. And we're going to get it right. You know, we already did a lot of work while I was there. But, you know, I'm just super happy that car is saved and you know, in great hands. So that's really, really important. And just wanted to say thank you guys for all the support that you guys have been providing me. That's really important, you know, and I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for all my patrons and for all the people who donated, you know, funds to help me keep saving these amazing machines. Thank you guys so much. And, you know, see you in the next one.